Hi there, it's Richie again here with part two of how to create a 4K video with the LG 360 cam, given it's only capable of 2K video recording. Well, right now you can see the same exterior scene that we started with in the last video, except that it can now be selected with up to 2160S resolution. That gives it a much more crisp look and more detail. Of course, the big difference is, you guessed it, it's not a moving picture, it's a single shot. There's no movement. Now for the first two scenes, as I mentioned in the last video, I was able to put the LG cam down on a flat surface so that it wouldn't move. However, for the rest of the time, I was holding the camera in the air above my head, which caused some shaking. However, for this version, I also took reference still shots on the LG 360 cam, which have a resolution of 5660 by 2830, which is basically double that of the video resolution. Now, in situations like this in a museum or art gallery or some kind of architectural display, it may not be as important to you to get the sense of movement around you as opposed to the clear and unimpeded view that the 360 degree format provides. Um, that's why I thought about using the images kind of like a 360 degree slideshow. Now being able to upload this to YouTube is still one of the best ways to share multiple shots in an easily digested format, whether on desktop or on mobile. So I achieved this 360 image movie, if you like, by using Adobe Premiere Pro. And instead of placing the video shots on the editing timeline, I placed the exact same shots on the timeline where the 360 video segments were in the previous project. I played around with the length of each shot and used a transition between the images, just like the video version. And at the end, when I was ready to publish as a media file, the highest resolution available to output as a movie file was 4096 by 2048. But the ratio and integrity of the combined 360 images as a slideshow movie were not harmed in any way. And after that, it was just like any other 360 video with a metadata injection and then upload to YouTube. I hope this gives you some ideas on how you might use your 360 degree camera to capture stable images and create your own 360 degree slideshows if wobble is an issue and you don't have supporting hardware like a gimbal or a tripod. Now, this could be a way around it to still amaze your friends with cool 360 pics and an easy way to consume, of course, on the uh, YouTube platform. Well, thanks for watching and let me know if you've got any questions on this segment. Have a great day and until next time.